G'day YouTube, today we're going to have a look at what's inside the Lenovo ThinkPad dock. So this one's a Thunderbolt 3 dock Gen 2 with a whole bunch of ports on the front and the back. Let's dig in and see what's inside. Okay, so that's just a Phillips screw, so take them out. It's actually quite lengthy screws. Good quality, hold them in there. Cool, so that this has actually got a front. Seems like some sort of a metal. Oh no, it is plastic. Um, just a nice coating on it. Um, and then a plastic base. So I assume we've undone all the screws now that should just pop out. But it's probably never actually that simple. Let's see if we can pry it open a bit more. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I might actually be able to get in with some tweezers. No. Just want to be cautious to not actually go in too far just in case there are any electronics there so I don't break anything. But that just seems to be held on. There's a strong, maybe a plastic clip on the inside. I'll just keep trying. Use a screwdriver, a little flat head, sort of pry it open. Work my way down. I wonder if there's another screw. There we go. So there we go. That's what they usually do. Hide an extra screw below the label. Just cut that open. Take that one out. Yeah. There we go. I think that's actually it. Let's see if she comes out with us now. There we go. Ha! So they hid an extra one below there. It's interesting, so just straight up the bat, we've got a little thin metal plate with a insulation coating on it. So the metal plate there makes contact on these exposed pads and it likely just shields the whole um, circuit board. There's a bunch of connections there. I wonder where that comes from. Maybe from the power coming in. We'll have a look. And just um, a few more screws. So let's undo those. All right, let's see if this comes out now. Looks like there's something else holding it in place, but it might just be the way these connectors are actually held in the plastic yeah I think that's going to be it so you should be able to just push it gently out without breaking any of the contacts there we go really tightly packed good to see I guess there's no movement of the PCB inside which is what you don't want as you're plugging and unplugging those connectors definitely don't want to see that moving around Oops, there's a little connector here. Must be holding something there together. There we go, and then there's something else connecting here. Awesome. Well, so I guess there's the big printed circuit board. Stacked on top there as well is another small one, probably just a, a USB interface, so that'll act as a little hub. A whole bunch of ICs on their capacitors, a bit of power filtering. Awesome. See what's underneath here. Just seems like a big metal weight, um, which I think is nice to just give the whole dock a little bit of a heavier feel, and so it doesn't move around on the desk so much when it sits there. 
It does have these nice rubber pads that we removed from where the screws were. So they actually hold that on really nice and the desk provided whatever desk surface is there has enough grip. It's actually really interesting as well is this here will be a um, thermal compound. So, ah, okay, that makes sense. So each of these pads here would actually sit on an IC. They'll be at the same height and that would just conduct the heat over to this big thing. So this would actually act as a weight, but also double as a heat sink to actually dissipate the heat. Depending on what's running through these docks, there can be a lot of bandwidth and a lot of processing going on board. So it could get quite hot. And here you go, that's that cable. Yeah, so that'll be a power coming in. Um, might as well unscrew these. There you go, so that's got a lot of thermal compound there as well. That's just allowing that heat to dissipate from the control circuits on here. Straight down onto this big chunk of aluminium. Um, that'll dissipate the heat from both sides. So interesting, we've got power coming in, high power on a separate board, um, does some sort of regulation, then that'll come back into the main board. Same as we've got the USB-C, which actually, or the Thunderbolt 3 there as well, which actually comes, feeds a lot of power into this as well. Distributes it out and then various different ICs are responsible for different parts of, of the dock. So the communications, the USB protocols, the HDMI, Display ports, Ethernet, um, there's just extra power there as well. And then this is just plastic, soft little plastic there, and that makes sense. So, this little connection here, just for that button, just that little tactile push button that turns the whole dock on and off. And I guess that's an LED, yeah, so that's interesting. There'll be an LED on the one board here, probably there, that's it. Tiny little LED over here, little padding. So foam on the side, um, which sits on this, and this would just be a translucent channel all the way through to actually channel it up to the top. So the little dot on the eye lights up, and as well as the button that's got a light on it as well. So we'll remove that as well while we're at it. There you go, and that's, yeah, it just has a tactile button, and it's actually got two LEDs which is interesting, so it must be two colors, and they've gone with two physical LEDs. LED 9, LED 10, they're labeled there. Um, instead of one multicolor LED, that's probably cheaper to do. And then, I'll move the screws out. And again, that's just gonna be a button. Well, actually, just a plastic, um, yeah, there you go, just a uh, cast plastic um, that pivots and is mounted to the case. On the other side is that button. There you go, so now you've seen what's inside a um, Lenovo dock. Thanks for watching.